Our next section is going to deal with why exactly a few individuals may be paid differently or earn less than individuals that have the same exact job title or job description or may even do the same exact tasks. So give us a little bit of a thought. Why do you feel that some individuals may be earning more or less than other individuals that have the same exact job description or job title? Why does someone like Mike Trout, probably the current best baseball player, earn millions of dollars more than your average baseball player? Why does someone like Patrick Mahomes, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, command so much money compared to other quarterbacks? And there are a lot of different reasons why people may be paid differently. There could be some type of job experience. There can be some type of location differences. There can also be some type of differences in the exact job tasks that you may be required to do. So someone like Mike Trout, Patrick Mahomes, they are the best at what they do. So therefore, they do command a higher salary or higher wages just because they are good at what they do. However, once we control for a lot of these different variables, once we can control for location, once we control for their job title, once we control for exactly uh, their education levels, maybe their experience levels, all of these sort of things, what may be one of the sole reasons why another individual may be earning more than another person? And if we can't really explain it, that's exactly where economic discrimination may come into play, where workers of equal ability and productivity are paid different wages or otherwise discriminated against through a different variety of reasons, maybe through race, maybe through gender, through age, doesn't really matter, just discriminating on some basis. So our next section is going to deal with this idea of economic discrimination and exactly why pay gaps or wage gaps may appear between different groups of people, primarily between men and women. So you might have heard the common adage that a woman earns 70 cents for every dollar that a man makes. It's pretty close to about 85 to 88 cents right now, but we still want to explain why exactly a wage gap may sort of appear between genders or or through some other facet, and that's exactly what we have here with two differing theories and a few of the applications that come along with it. We'll focus first on Gary Becker's theory of discrimination, and then we'll go ahead and turn to the more traditional segmented labor markets and see the three hypotheses that are going to pop up under that particular theory. And the analysis that follows is going to be very different from the analysis that we had in the previous section, where we were under perfectly competitive labor markets, where we assume that every single individual was identical to one another and earned the same exact wage. So introducing a little bit more realism when we introduce economic discrimination, where people actually earn different wages from one another. So in the videos that follow, we'll take a look at the theories and applications of economic discrimination and see if they can fully explain why discrimination still happens today on an economic basis.